I've told a great many secrets, tis true. Beyond this door lies the Holocron Vault. The Holocrons contain the most closely guarded secrets of the Jedi Order. And welcome to another Tales from the Dark Side. Hey, listen, we've got a full crew because we're super excited. This is why it's taken us so long to get to it. I know uh, it's like area codes in Detroit. It's 313, but you just throw one on the front end of it. Hey, Pete, if you are checking out his stuff that he's doing, these little shorts he's got, he's dropping them Saturday morning, just like the cartoons. Pete, tell him how it is. Say hello. What's going on, guys? Yeah, top 10 toys. Who doesn't love toys? Everybody loves make, toys. Make sure you're looking at the links below. We got that. Morello, welcome back. It's always great when we can have a legend like Mike on the show. Uh, if you aren't looking at the tunes, make sure you check the tunes out. And three card, card money with these two guys on the channel. It's great. Mike, say hi. How's it going, everybody? Nice to be back. Thank you. Leaky, down low. Low Bricks is uh, hitting it over 200. They are growing. They do a live show on the weekends. That's pretty fun. If not, watch those little uh, builds. It doesn't take long because they speed build it. It's crazy if you don't know what speed build it is. Watch his stuff. Link below. Make sure you do it. Leaky, say what's up. Give him the trooper salute. Hello, everybody. Jen, comic book women's all-star. Uh, if you aren't watching it on Tuesday, look, you like the pop culture stuff. You like the Star Wars stuff. You're right in our wheelhouse. Um, Jen, hopefully by the time this comes out, me and you've been digging together, I get to see what type of skills you actually have when it comes to uh, <laughs> kind of showing an old man how to pull up sweet books. Say hello, Jen. Hey, everyone. And my co-pilot, who's always flying around, I don't know what he's going to say, but at one time, I guarantee I'm going to roll my eyes at something. Solo Wookiee, <laughs> give him one of your Wookiee uh, wisdoms. What's happening, everybody? There you go. That's it. All right. Hey, look. We've been talking about doing 1313 in Underworld for a while. It's something that I really like. I know JJ, one of our great fans, Maxwell over there, loves it too because he likes the video games. The gamers like it because of one reason. Lucas fans like it because of another reason. Clone War fans like it because of another reason. Uh, a lot of people keep dropping hints about kind of what it was, but we saw the last episode of Mandalorian, and the first thing a lot of us text back in our group chat to each other was, Damn, we should have done 1313. So we're going to do it. We're going to do 1313. But we're talking about 1313. We're going to start off with the Lucas stuff real quickly. Lucas apparently had written up to about 100 scripts, 20 scripts. Who cares? We know that, like, look, legacy is as long as a lightsaber, right? Like, he's done so much. God, Lucas, we get it. But what we did get to see, actually, this, well, it'll be last year because we'll be in the new year by this time shows, is that they had the leaked footage of uh, the Underworld stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, this was uh, the leak footage. If you ever watched it, it was kind of like st two stormtroopers went into the underworld. They went to level 1313 and they, uh, they kind of just did a little test footage thing where you see like a cloaked figure. She was part of the resistance, maybe had a little force sensitivity, was trying to find plans for the star destroyers. And she was going through some of the, uh, you know, other ground rebel people. It was described that they were going to show all these scoundrels down there. A lot of bounty hunter issues. Even they were going to show a little bit when the Imperials were down there where they were getting to the point where they weren't so strong anymore because it was a real shady thing. The Underworld, level 13, 13 has been plagued from the get. That obviously didn't come out in 2020 when we're showing that, okay? Lucas still had control when that was shot. It became way too expensive. <laughs> the stuff wasn't shooting well. How they were shooting stuff on the screen, if you ever watched how they were shooting it, it was just taking up too much of a massive stage. They couldn't get it out. Hey, Marco, you had said 2020. It was 2012, right? Well, 2020 is what I'm saying it is right now. Oh, yeah. I know. They finally let the, te the, tra the teaser stuff leak out was by now. So what I'm telling you is, yeah, it was way before that when he actually shot this. And when the big screens were coming out and all that type of stuff, like you could see it. There is some images there's some videos of how much and how intense it would have been to try to shoot this. And he was going to do it for a TV show. And like, just, it wasn't feasible financially. It wasn't feasible. Um, resource size. It wasn't the technology obviously wasn't there. And then to that point, shortly afterwards, they ended up selling to Disney anyways. Yeah. There Plus you go. the world's different now. Yeah. yeah. TV is now they got the gaming technology to do it. Yeah. The volume. Yeah. The volume, which is crazy. The other part that links this all together is this right here. Star Wars 1313. Mm -hmm. They actually had trailer gameplay through it. 
we have been hitting this up for a while. I couldn't even find the original picture that I did. So this is off our Instagram because like we just keep posting this. This is one of the first pictures from it. It's Boba Fett with a ba boss type character down there. They have definitely have a lot of art. They obviously have this coming down. This was actually taken and they use this. If you've seen the Clone Wars two times, if you saw the Clone Wars when she when uh, Sokatana ran into Aja Ventress, mm -hmm. that was on 1313. Technically, the sisters are 1919, but originally were in the book. It was two brothers on 1313. Okay. Um, so they definitely have had all these plans to it. That was the first time they actually got 1313. So, Wait, like you, you said, the book, which book? Talking about the Ahsoka book? Mm -hmm, the Ahsoka book, yeah. Yep. In the Ahsoka book. So, the last part of the, of the, the part of Clone Wars where you see the last chapter of it, the last couple chapters before the malls, well, all of it really was taking out of excerpts of the Ahsoka Tana novel. Yep. Um, all that stuff was pretty much there. It just in was... some cases line by line, almost line yeah. for line. In some cases, yeah. yeah. What they did do though is they they rearranged. It was two. It was was it two brothers, Mike? It was two brothers, right? They turned them to two sisters. Yep. I know some people were bent about that. What I care, I I really <laughs> care about. Like if you turn them from brothers, the story still, still works the same. Yeah, it's still good. They did change around from 13 to 19. So like you got that there. I think they were just worried about shooting something on 13 because it has been cursed for a while. Like we mentioned the video game. Uh, it was forever. I think, I think like three or four, I remember like, I was like, okay, it's coming out. And then like, you didn't hear anything for a long yeah. time. And I think it was three or four years later. Then you started getting some of the pictures out of it. Then like another year or two later, then it was done. Then another two years later, I think IGN was where you had to go for this stuff back then. Yeah, and it was like, like three after E3. Are we getting a little bit more? A little bit more? Yeah. There, there were there was even a release date, I thought, like a soft yeah. release date. Well, they had a game trailer. They actually had game playthrough trailer that showed up on IG. And and like it was kind of crazy. They introduced um this character in there, which is really interesting. This is something I showed at the end of it, and mm -hmm. I'll talk about it. This character right here, th this is some of the artwork. So that's actually him next to Bubba Fett. He kind of was like an assassin type bounty hunter person who uses his long rifle and has cybernetics in them. I don't know if there's anybody in the curtain current canon situation that that seems to be. I'm like. still not connecting a little 57 year old Asian woman to the, that giant IG88. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, she's the original Mulan. Yeah, so, oh, yeah, no, the cool mask thing on her. No, it couldn't be her at all. Couldn't be Fennec. Couldn't be that they're using some of these. These were well, the all. It is an easy replace, though. Like, it's not that important. Like, yeah. Right. No, it is. Why, why would you put a shield agent down in 1313? Because she's the cavalry. <laughs> she is the That's cavalry. <laughs> this is where I'm rolling my eyes at your <laughs> derailing what we're talking about here. So, here we go. Uh, Bring all right, it out. Yeah. You get there a you shot. But this is kind of cool too because when you saw this, like a lot of times Bubble Fett's armor was all scuffed up and, and crashed mm -hmm. up. This was like it was almost a Django Fett repaint of his armor when he was down there. Everything was looking a lot cleaner. They did have some parts where he would they had the do back, which you kind of see from the Mandalorian with the Jawas right. there with the backport entry there. Very just interesting type of stuff. Always using the flamethrower. Um, very interesting type stuff when you get down to like how similar it does have a similarity to it. Now I know they said they were going to call it the, the book of fat and book of Boba Fett. But, sorry. Book of Boba Fett. It's and how they could do, obviously how they could do that is like originally there's two versions that we could see it being played out. First off, if you haven't watched our show at all before, you know that I'm a sucker for the photo covers because they're so bad, but a lot of them are from empire. Um, this series, the underworld, Definitely has photo covers. This was a yep. famous one that they redid. Uh, there's a Bosque one that I love. A lot of these are the regular covers. You can still, to this day, uh, find them for under $3. You probably won't be able to, Look, all books are going up. I get that. You're not going to be able to find them much longer. You definitely won't be able to find the, the other ones. One of them has Job on it. One has Han Solo on in the photo cover. IG-88, yeah. Bosque is, is it. With and Boba is number five. So those are always good to get. In that series, they talk about how Boba Fett sends them on kind of like a um, 
what are those things called? Remember they used to do them, Leaky, you'll know this, where you like got in a car and you'd go around and take pictures and like a scavenger hunt almost. Oh, yeah. yeah. Almost like the Pokemon Go or whatever or something <laughs> a little different than that. Older than that. Yeah. Ro a rat race, road race, road race. Remember the old road races? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. So it's kind of like that, right? So they were going out there and almost on a scavenger hunt type situation. And uh, it took place in the underworld, took place around 1313 to that level. So we kind of could see that. And you can kind of see that either they're going to have flashback portions of that or Boba Fett's going to turn into the new uh, Job of the Hutt. And then he's going to send the scoundrels and everything back. I think it might be a combination of the two. Because, look, if you can do that, now all of a sudden you can push the end of our the Sing story, which we've always been preaching. Mm -hmm. You can either, you can also tie in, and you know how they like to do this, a little bit more Darth Maul. One episode with a little Darthy Darth in there. Yeah. Um, you can do a little bit of that. You obviously are going to finally bring in Bosk, which, you know, I look, man, I love I have a love-hate relationship with Bosk. Like I think he's a terrible character. Uh, but I love him. I love him because he's a lot better than Diaperhead, which means you're gonna bring in <laughs> Diaperhead, and then you're probably gonna bring in Valance too. Like these are all characters that you know I now. I still think Michael Bean looked a lot like Diaper head or he did uh, Dengar. He did. His name Dengar. is Dengar. Dengar. I know, but I knew who he, who he meant and the Diaper figure Heads. nobody ever bought. <laughs> I, I, I Bosk, think so. Like that's why I'm a little chap because I have doubles of both Bosk and uh, Dengar as a kid because they were the Kmart Blue Light special. Yeah. So like <laughs> either one was high in my priority of people. I like. I do like Bosk a little bit better, but I got him on the way. Hand, we're one like, hand away way. for him. He had the hand. Came with a badass a, gun, though. Yeah, blue gun that went through. Yeah, the cool. original Bosk action figure was cool. Him and IG eighty eight were the two, and I got the Dengar one, and I was like, "What is this? A bloated Boba Fett with a diaper head?" That's no. exactly what I was He had a close up foot shot of uh, Bosk in the movie. Like, ooh, let's take a look at his feet. <laughs> Dengar, the original Boba Fett. Right. Yeah, and space is my one, man. But like those, it's it's like so cool because like. With doing this now, with the Book of Fett, like, you know, there's a lot of them. Like, you have Obi-Wan, you're doing the Obi-Wan show. It's going to be about the journals, which is a flashback. You could do Boba Fett where you do both, and you can start incorporating all these characters that we've been waiting for a long time to see. Actually, I'm really excited about that because those are the, you know, like, I do like the story of the Grey Jedis or the 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 Vosses and all that type of stuff. And Voss is somebody else mm -hmm. that will show up in that world. He spends a lot of time in 1313 um, in real canon at this point. So these are all characters and all cool things that we can definitely see happening, and, and hopefully they do. Correct me if I'm wrong, but does Aja Ventress not become a bounty hunter on 1313 in this period? She does, because when we know that from the Clone Wars. When when uh, Tana runs down there, that happens. And by the way, you can see Tana down there more because they haven't covered the whole Tana story in the underworld yet, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. So I have a motivation question about Boba Fett in Book of the Boba Fett, right? Like... I have that mug too, Solo. He clearly takes over Jabba's palace. He's setting himself up as a boss, right? So I almost hope they go the underworld route, not the boat bounty hunter route, because the bounty hunter, like Grief Karga, right? It seems very organized. There's the there's the chips, the you know, the little chips and the hollow debt, the hollow, all of that stuff. And I don't think is Boba Boba Fett mentioned when he shows up in the bards, he's Bo Katan. I'm not a Mandalorian. Oh, you're a bounty hunter, right? And he kind of scoffed at that. So I like the idea that he's going to be the new job of the hut or the new underworld boss, not a bounty hunter. What yeah. do you guys think? Same. I, I think the same. And there was some chat on uh, on online. I've been looking around, people talking about how the book of Boba Fett is going to be the third season of The Mandalorian. Uh, I, you know, I'm just, it's its own thing, I think. It's going to go in that direction. He sits on that throne. He looks boss as hell. I, I think that they're just setting him up to be the next Jabba in that palace and everyone's going to yeah. come to come to him. So that's it. So there's so much stuff you can do if you can open up the underworld. Right. And that's yes. kind of like it. So like Jabba did have a little bit hold on their other world, but the pikes were still down there. There's a lot of characters that were down there that you could get into. You could bring in, you could bring in the mall stuff. If they go back, look, Mandalorian, I think is pretty clear. Now is going to be three seasons. There's not much – you can't go much past three after what they've just done. Um, well, from what we hear – now, this is before the new year. From what we hear, 
there's two different productions going on. There's the already shooting of the Book of Fett, and there's also a pre-production stuff going on for the Mandalorian. So that would hint that they're two separate parts. Mandalorian probably, they're going to go back and take Mandalore. They're going to do the Fett thing. I would be very surprised if they did, they brought Bubba Fett back from a Sarlacc pit to do one eight-part season on Bubba Fett, especially considering that Lucas had like 50 to 100 scripts already, you know, written about this. The guys really like it. Dave has done a lot of stuff with young Boba Fett, a lot of stuff with the underground. He he had Aja or he had Sing kissing Hondo. He had all that cool stuff. And we still haven't even got to see Cad Bane shoot Boba Fett in the mm. head. Yes. Yeah. Well, some of us have seen yep. it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and Marco, consider this, right? There's the Rangers of the New Republic show. And then there's Book of Fett. Good guy, good cops. The Rangers of the New Republic, the Cara Dune, whatever. And that's they've announced that, right? That was announced. Then you got Book of Boba Fett, which is Underworld. That would be so cool if you had the good team, the New Republic guys, and then the Underworld guys. And they already all know each other. Cara Dune knows Boba that Fett. That would be interesting. Florian knows with the, with the rogue Jedi going around in Ahsoka. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it's... It, they so meet much- up with Sabine in Season 3, and all the Mandos go back and take back Mandalore. Yeah, I mean, there's... But there's so much stuff that they have to that they've left open for so long now. Like you can only tease that little portion of of what's her name getting pushed off the balcony. You can or wherever she got pushed off of. What if she got pushed off a of level thirteen thirteen and ended up going down? You know, there's only so much you can tease about the Red Dawn and not eventually get back. You have to get it back to it. You can't go thirty years. Yeah. Without it, because it's just not yeah. going to work out well. So. But but that's my question, Marco. Like, I don't know the motivations in the comic book like so far boba fett's only motivation was get his armor back and pay off debts right he's like i gotta help you find the child what's his motivation in the comics like 1313 we never got to find out are you talking about currently well, yeah currently, like what's, well, what's they never let, so currently they never let him out of the sarlacc pit they only had him working for vader so oh, they, in the comics yeah in the comics they only had him work like he almost killed luke 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 almost died because Luke leave Luke alone. No, okay. Luke <laughs> almost died because Luke went into a hut to go look for uh Obi-Wan's journal. And Boba Fett was there. Boba Fett whooped him up and then launched a rocket at him and almost killed him. And luckily, when the building collapsed, Luke the journal fell on Luke's lap and Boba screwed himself and then Luke scurried away. Like they Boba Fett for a lot, and then they kind of let it go after that, and they used black K. By the way, another character you can see down there, not saying that it's going to happen, but like is a very possibility, is Black Canasta and all the Afro stuff, right? Like, because like yeah. you definitely can see because the you def just because of what's happening, and I'm not going to go down that big of a rabbit hole. We might try to make this a little bit shorter of an episode. Maybe we'll deep dive into that stuff later when they announce what's going on with it. But yeah. like that's it. Like you can see all these characters, and they have to flush them out. They can really use. Look, Mando's going to go one more season. I'm not sure it's going to be flushing out any more characters next season. I think they're going to Mandalore taking over Mandalore. You need a TV show that's going to flush out of characters. And, whoa, the Book of Fett can flush out a heck of a lot of characters, dude. You need your new show builder? Mm. Yeah, they can do it right. I I only disagree on one count. I think that that Sabine has to come back in for at least a cameo, if nothing else. Mm. On what? Absolutely. Uh, in in the la- in the third season, Amanda. Especially oh, yeah, if they do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that. No, I'm saying though is like they were introduced. Like this last season, what was it? Like six, four, five, six people they kind of brought back into play. They technically oh, yeah. brought Sabine back in with the Ahsoka thing, but like, yeah, I get what you're saying. I mean, they mentioned Thrawn. They didn't even show him off, and he wasn't even cast yet. But yeah, I mean, like that's what I'm saying. So now you did that because that storyline's done. You can't go like you can't go. Oh man, Mandalorian. Oh, Cad Bane. Oh, Mandalorian. Sing. Oh, Mandalorian. Oh, uh, yeah, no. Boss. You know, you can't do that. But you, oh, you're right. These are great characters. And, like, even the Afro thing. If you watch that last episode, I guess Dr. Afro blew up. But, like, in serious, <laughs> seriously, a hey, Why? Why do you think she blew up? She could have just I left. I mean, think about it. Maul left the deck. She would have left, too. Hey, boss is leaving. Hey, we're leaving the deck. She could have went and hit out where all the cooks and the, you know, the, the jammers are. Skate pods, bro. 
Okay. My point saying? being like you can, but now it makes more sense adding even her into a different element where you're bringing her up through that area. And then you can start casting yeah. more stuff because eventually yeah. Ask, accolades can't last that long. Rogue squadron can't last that long. Hmm. Um, you know, I'm not gonna go through all the titles, but yeah, yeah, we, we don't even know what Mando three might be like, they might hold it for a little while just to keep us on the hook and fill our time with Boba for a year and say, but North. didn't didn't Disney Plus? I swear I saw this announcement where they said Christmas 2021. They said you're getting Rangers of the New Republic, Ahsoka, and Mando season three. Didn't they put that on their Facebook page? I swear they did. I don't remember the dates. Okay, I know they did for. I know they did for. They said I thought they said December for one of them for the Mando thing, and they definitely said 2021 for the Book of Fett. To be honest with you, like, what if what if it's what if one of them is what we, this should be a whole different topic, but we'll hit it here and then we'll start a new video some other time and talk about what they could possibly do. What if they do one where you can stream it because now they've gotten enough content, especially with Marvel coming in one where you can binge it and one of where you can do seasons with it. That would be genius. Would be genius. Hey, so that's it. So this is what we think about 1313 and underworld. That's what we think about the book of fat. We think it's all going to be tied together. Make sure you're getting those Underworld comics. Remember, there's an A and a B. The photo covers are the Bs. Uh, they're going to be tough to get. Hopefully, you got your, your pairs before. Read through it. Read through a lot of that old Bubble Fett stuff. I want to thank everybody for coming out for this one. Pete, Mike, always good. Leaky, Jen, Solo, take us out. All right, everybody. Thanks for enduring this with us and learning a little bit more with the 1313. Please go over and force push that like and subscribe so you can always be around with us. And then go ahead and save or strike that bell so that you can always be alarmed at the best chat this side of the galaxy. And remember, may the force oh. be with you.